every recurring decimal can be written as a fraction. So we've got a question here that says express 0 0.2 recurring, the dot above the two means recurring, as a fraction. So 0 0.2 recurring means 0 0.22222 and it goes on forever. It goes on forever. So 0 0.2 going on forever. So express 0 0.2 recurring as a fraction. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take 0 0.2 recurring, 0 0.22222222 and so on. And we're going to call that x. And what I need is I need something else that ends in the 22222, the two recurring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this by 10. So 0 0.2 recurring multiplied by 10 gives us 2.2 recurring. And that will be 10 lots of x. So 10x. Now what I can do is I can take away 1x from 10x. So if I've got 10x's and I take away one of them, that leaves me with 9x's. And if I've got 2.2 recurring, so if I've got 2.2222222222 and I take away 0 0.22222222222 and so on, that just leaves me with 2. So I can say 2 is equal to 9x. And if I divide both sides by 9, I get x is equal, divide both sides by 9, x is equal to 2 ninths. So x is 0 0.2 recurring, and x is also 2 ninths. So 0 0.2 recurring, 0 0.2 recurring is equal to 2 ninths. Okay, so there's a question for you to try. So express 0 0.5 recurring as a fraction. So give it a go. Press pause and press play when you're ready to carry on. So we've got 0 0.5 recurring. And we're going to call that x. So how can I get something else ending in the 5 recurring? I'm going to multiply it by 10 again. So 5.5 recurring is 10x. And if I do 10x take away 1x, that's 9x. 5.5 recurring take away 0 0.5 recurring is just 5. And divide both sides by 9, which leaves me with x is equal to 5 ninths. So 0 0.5 recurring is 5 ninths. Okay, here's a different question. We've got express 0 0.45 recurring as a fraction. So the dot is above the 4 and the 5, which means this is 0 0.4545. 4, 5 going on forever. So 0 0.4545445 and so on. So it's the same principle. We take 0 0.45 recurring and we call that x. Now we're looking for something that ends in 4, 5 recurring. And to do that, we're going to have to multiply by 100 this time. If we multiply by 10, we'd get 4.545454. So we need something that ends in 4, 5 recurring. So the only way to do that is to times it by 100, which gives us 45.45 recurring. Now we're going to take away 1x from 100x. 100x is take away 1x is 99x's. And 45.45 
recurring, take away 0 0.45 recurring is 45. So we divide both sides by 99. So x is 45 over 99. We can simplify it further. They're both in the three times table. So that's 15, divide the top by 3, and divide the bottom by 3. So 15 over 33, and again, they're in the 3 times table. So that's 5 elevenths. So 0 0.45 recurring is equal to 5 elevenths. And there's a question for you to try. So express 0 0.15 recurring as a fraction, pause the video, give it a go. So we've got 0 0.15 recurring. So 0 0.15151515515. We're going to call that x. We need something else that ends in the 151515. So we're going to multiply by 100, which will give me 15. 0.15 recurring. If I take away 1, take 100x take away 1x, that's 99x. 15.15 recurring, take away 0 0.15 recurring is 15. And we divide both sides by 99 to get x by itself. So x is 15 over 99, and they're both in the 3 times table. So divide top and bottom by 3, which gives us 5 over 33. Okay, next question. So we've got, this time we've got express 0 0.215 all recurring as a fraction. So... When we've got recurring numbers, we only ever use two dots. So if there's a dot at the start of what recurs, and there's a dot at the end of what recurs. So this means 0 0.215, 215, 215, and so on. So we do the same thing. We're going to call 0 0.215 recurring x. And we need something else that ends in 215 recurring. So we can't multiply by 10. That will give me 2.15215215215. If we multiply by 100, we get 21.521521521. We need to multiply by 1,000 to get 215.215 recurring. So a thousand x and we're still going to take away like we did before. So a thousand x take away one x is 999 x. 215.215 recurring take away 0 0.215 recurring is 215. So x is 215 over 999. I don't think that can be simplified any further, so that is our answer. Okay, so there's a question for you to try. Express 0 0.105 all recurring as a fraction. Pause the video, give it a go, and press play when you're ready to carry on. So 0 0.105, that's x. We need something else that ends in 105 recurring. So we're going to multiply by 1,000 again to give us 105.105 recurring. We're going to take away, so 1,000x take away 1x is 999x. And 105.105 recurring, take away 0 0.105 recurring, 
is 105. Divide both sides by 999. So we've got 105 over 999. They're both in the three times table. So we've got 35 over 333. And I don't think it simplifies any further. So there is our answer. And we've got another two questions here. So express 0 0.215 as a fraction. So this time we only have the one five recurring. So the two is not recurring. So we've got 0 0.2 and then one five, one five, one five, one five, and so on. So we need to express this as a fraction. So if we say 0 0.215, the one five recurring is X we need things that end in 1-5 recurring. So we're not going to get anything else that ends in 2-1-5 recurring. So if we multiply by 10, we will get 10x is 2.15 recurring. Now I need something else that ends in 1-5 recurring. So if I multiply my original by 1000, I'll get 215. 0.15 recurring is 1000x. So now I've got two things that end in 1.5 recurring. So I can take them away and get rid of the recurring bit. So 1000x take away 10x is 990x. And 215.15 recurring take away 2.15 recurring so the 1.5 recurring is cancelled out 215 take away 2 is 213 so 213 equals 990x divide both sides by 990 so x is 213 over 990 they're both in the three times table, so we can simplify. So we've got 71 over 330. And there's our answer. Okay, a question for you to try. Pause the video, give it a go, and press play when you're ready to go through the answer. Okay, so we've got 0 0.15 recurring. So 0 0.1 and then 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. We're going to call that x. If we multiply by 10, we get 1.5 recurring as 10x. And if we multiply the original by 100, we'll get 15.5 recurring as 100x. So we've got two things that end in the 5 recurring. So we're going to take away. 100x take away 10x is 90x. 15.5 recurring take away 1.5 recurring. So the 5 recurring is cancelled out. 15 take away 1 is 14. So 14 equals 90x. Divide both sides by 90. So x is 14 over 90, or 7 over 45. Okay, three more questions to end. So have a go at these, pause the video, and press play when you're ready for the answer. Okay, firstly, 0 0.8 recurring. So 0 0.8 recurring is x, 8.8 .8 recurring is 10x, take away, 10x take away 1x is 9x, 8.8 .8 recurring, take away 0.8 recurring is 8, 
and divide both sides by 9, so x is 8 ninths. 0 0.81 recurring, so 0 0.81 recurring is x. To get something else that ends in 81 recurring, we're going to multiply by 100, so 81.81 recurring is 100x. 100x take away 1x is 99x, and 81.81 recurring take away 0 0.81 recurring is 81. And we divide both sides by 99. So x is 81 over 99. Or, so they're both in the 9 times table, 9 elevenths. And finally, we've got 0 0.81 recurring. So just the 1 recurring this time. 0 0.81 recurring is x. If we multiply by 10, we get 8.1 recurring as 10x. And multiply by the original by 100, or 10x by 10, either one. So 81.1 recurring is 100x. So we take away 100x take away 10x is 90x. 81.1 recurring take away 8.1 recurring. So 81 take away 8. And that's 73. And divide both sides by 90. So x equals 73 over 90.